Guys, welcome back. <laughs> Another video <laughs> coming up. I think we're gonna put a head on this thing, uh, show you exactly what to do. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, back with another one. We're gonna try to get a head on. Um, I was gonna do the oil pan, but I'm gonna wait till the very end, I think, to put that oil pan on. I got some RVT I wanna put underneath there on both sides, but I did um, put the, um, the rear main oil seal on the rear cover. I misspoke on that video after I watched it back. This is not the timing cover. Timing cover is over here. You all know that. But just in case anyone's confused on the last video, um, we did the seal, um, the oil seal, and then the gasket that goes on the rear cover, which can't shaft back there. Anyways, um, on a, I did a little short. I don't know if anyone missed it. They may have, but I showed you the tool how to put this crank pulley on, and um, I'm not gonna reuse this bolt. But I think I gotta, I gotta pull the rest of it in with the bolt once I get it kind of in transit. I don't know where it is, ordered it off uh, Amazon. So we'll wait for that to come in. So back to the situation in hand, we get the gasket out of there. We get one of the heads over here and um, we'll get into exactly how to do this and the torque uh, specs and the way you bolt eat up. All right guys, I got you set up on this tripod. So there's the gasket, take it out of the plastic. I looked at the other gasket, they're identical. The only thing you wanna look for, I hope the other ones, um, your whatever gas you have, should tell you which way front and rear is. Um, but you wanna make sure that you have this facing in the right direction. As you can see, here's your ports for your lifters and everything should, should be uh, self-explanatory. You can see where the water jacket goes and stuff. Just line up your gasket and I was running into uh, a problem trying to get this to stay up here because my dowels, they're short little dowels, they're in the block. I'll show you right now. Bring the block up here, I won't cut the video. But there's dowels right here. And you could take those out with a pair of vice grips or something like that, they're on both sides. But these are supposed to be in the block which will help you set the gasket. We're just gonna do it backwards. And I gotta tell you the biggest thing with these heads to make sure you're putting them back on, your casting number on, if you're sitting in the truck would be the passenger side. But if you're looking at the front of the motor, it's gonna be your left side. Um, you want the casting number facing towards the crankshaft because on the other side of the head, um, there, is a, uh, there is a temperature a temperature gauge on this side. I'll show you right So here. right here, that is a uh, temperature gauge, um, which measures the temperature of the motor, basically. Um, so you wanna make sure that is on the driver's side. So if you're sitting in the vehicle, it'd be the left-hand side. If you're looking at the motor, it'd be the right-hand side, if that makes any sense. Just make sure you get your heads properly uh, <laughs> marked and make sure they're on the right New side. New head bolts, we're gonna count those out. There should be an even set on both sides. I'll show you that in one minute. Here's all the bolts, brand new bolts. You gotta get brand new ones when you're doing heads. You can't retorque the old head bolts. These are up near the uh, plastic manifold, which go under the manifold, and then these are the rest for both sides of both heads. Uh, I wanna stress that you need to buy new ones when you're doing this job because they're torque to yield. Once you torque them past the torque, you know, wherever the torque is set, that's it. One and done with these bolts. You gotta get new ones. All right, got you guys back on the tripod. All right, so before we jump ahead and I forget, I wanna give you guys the specs on how to torque down the cylinder head. There is definitely a sequence. I'm gonna leave this up here for a minute so you guys can pause that to understand. This is, uh, as you can see, to the left of the screen, that is the crankshaft pulley. So that would be the front of the motor. So you can understand the way it's set up. Um, again, very utilized, get one of these books, they're great. Here's the uh, crankshaft and all that stuff. Just learn something about that crankshaft over here too. You need to have 13 26th clearance underneath there. So I'm gonna measure that, but from just my eyeballs looking at it, I think that crankshaft is set where it needs to be. I wish I would have explained that in the last video, but there's the sequence again. Um, we're gonna line this all up and then I got something to show you about. There's two bolts on each side of the head and they're shorter than the rest. I wanna show you where they go. All right guys, get some bolts here. So you got the two, there's a bunch of them. I think there's like 10 each side. So there's longer and you can tell you the difference of the height wise, right? They're shorter. So I'm gonna show you exactly where these go. So let's line that gasket up. Line the gasket up. We got it front, forward. Make sure all your ports are good, your cooling ports, everything's gonna line up. That's definitely the way this gasket goes. Again, make sure you identify your head, which way it goes, front to rear, back to front, all that stuff. Pretty simple too on these things. It's got the uh, steam uh, steam port for the crossover line for the coolant. And that's very simple. So all I'm doing here, here, out of camera, I'm sorry, out of frame, putting those on the dowels, making sure they line up. And then I'm gonna drop 
the dowels in the lineup pin holes and she should she should slide right on that's it right there man she's lined up very simple and easy so that head's on there i'm gonna keep my fingers on it but you can let go <laughs> all right so back to the the bolts here the shorter bolts they go at either end in here i don't have the camera high enough so i might pause it to show you exactly inside which i will do in a minute but i'm going to show you exactly where these go let me pause you guys i'll bring you back how's that for a view okay i lied i let go of the head too longer bolts shorter bolts so the longer bolts go everywhere but the two ends okay these two ports right here these two sides that's where your shorter bolts go make sure you got the shorter ones in there You'll know if you if you got the longer ones in there because she ain't going to go on all the way. Sorry for the chickens in the background. We'll do an update on the chickens in a minute. They're growing like crazy. So these are two shorter ones go. The rest all are longer. Long, 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 long. And then the short ones go right up in here in these four ports. You guys can't really see. Let me bump you up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. That's where the shorter ones go. Like I said, this will be the valley cover and the intake will go right here. But for now, we're just going to do this head for now. So two short ones in the corner. The rest are long. Let me put them all in there. All right, guys, to reiterate, I just, on that time lapse, I just tightened them down until they, until the, the wrench clicked once, and that was it on the, uh, uh, the impact wrench. I'm reading here, it says uh, 11 millimeter bolts, the length, I believe, 99 to 2003. That's the model we have. So you see right there, it's 22 foot pounds, um, and then 90 degree turn. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do for the 90 degree turn. I, I have a gauge, but it's for an angle finder for uh, degrees. I probably could use it um, on the wrench. I'm going to do it off camera, see if it actually will work. But if not, it's very simple. You start at, you know, you start at west and then you go 90 degrees down. That's all. That's, nine, that's a 90 degree swing. Make it a 90 degree, just like a frame or square. Very, very easy. So 22 foot pounds all the way through and then um, 90 degrees after, after it's tight. So that's what we're going with, guys. 22 foot pounds and then 90 degrees. Sorry, guys, didn't put the camera on. I just checked. So one, I'm looking at the book up here, too. Two is right there. Just did that. And I just started three, and I poked up my head to see if it was there. So three, go down to four. Four, five is right here. Five, six is right here. Six. Oh, seven's right down here on the corner. Seven. Eight all the way over here. Nine up in here. Ten all the way here. Those are the two short bolts we're doing. There's ten. Crack. Now I gotta switch over and do the, the five up top. Let me get the socket and I need an extension. Extension one. So I got a little adapter for this half-inch drive torque wrench, which is nice. Comes in handy. I went to go after my 3/8 drive. I need to get a new one. I need to go to. Uh, I need to go to. Uh, Lowell's actually says Craftsman. I think I'm just gonna go with the Craftsman. So what did I start? 10. So I gotta come back over here. 11, right in the middle. Again, 22 foot pounds. 11. Thirteen. Fourteen. The last one. Fifteen. All right, guys, hold on. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, off camera, I did something pretty cool. I got this angle locator. So if I bring this up to roughly zero degrees right here, and I'm gonna bring it down 90. All I do is go to that 90 mark and I'll show you right now. So we're all torqued to 22 foot pounds. Off camera, I did number 15. So I shouldn't have done that. I should have started right here with one, but I wanna make sure. So I'm just gonna hold my hand on this. And then as, and it's magnet magnetized to which helps, but bring this down all the way until it hits 90. 
I don't know why I hit the tripod. So that's your 90 degrees right there. Now I got to do that for all of them. Ooh, some torquage on that thing. So it is 90. So that number one's done, completely done. I'll, uh, I'll time lapse the rest of it so you guys don't have to hear me talking. Go through the sequence again. I'll show you again real quick so you'll know the sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. 15. So there you go. I'll time lapse the rest of this. Or I might just I might just do it off camera. And then um because it's gonna take a minute. But yeah, I'll time lapse it. All right, guys, that completes that. Hopefully you uh, got the gist of exactly what to do there and that little angle um, magnet locator. That did work pretty well as long as I kept it pretty straight on the wrench. And realistically, if you start this way on a bolt and go exactly a, qu uh, a, quarter, a quarter circle around, so if you do a complete circle, that'd be a 360. So... From here to here is 90 degrees if you look at a, a frame and square. It's very pretty simple. You could do it without that, but I guess safe than sorry, get all your bolts lined up, get one of those angle frames. They have one that can bolt onto the uh, onto a ratchet and stuff, which fits on there. But that's gonna be good for now. I'm gonna bolt the other one up, get the other gasket out, and repeat for the other side. All right, guys, so we got the head on, new gasket. Um, all the bolts are torqued uh, to spec, 22 foot pounds all the way around and then 90 degrees after 22. So um, just make sure the two bolts that go on either end on the inside of the head, that um, they, uh, the two short ones, pay attention to that because uh, you don't want to like do any damage to the block itself. So make sure those are lined up right and make sure you get the head. Uh, if it's been a minute since you took it off, make sure you look back at photos. Hopefully you take photos or just go online and see what you got. I know for a fact on this side, that temperature gauge sticks outside the head uh, where the wire harness comes on. So that would be the driver's side. So again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you understand what I do with the torque sequence and the torque spec. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oil pan, I think. Oil pan next, I think, I think. Oil pan, valley cover, intake. And then we might be able to fire this thing up in the next few videos. Stay tuned.